All right. I'm gonna be honest. I've been on a bit of a cyberpunk kick as of late. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes out. Take off your shoes. <laughs> I mean, the game comes out today. It's also been a while since I've worked on fucking anything, really. It's been a long year, and the Mean Greens video was me trying to get back on the horse, only I overshot the saddle. Here's a tip to aspiring video makers, write what you know. Don't try and make your big return on some game that you've only played 10 hours of that gets an update once every three years. Not only did I get scammed by that game, but I also got scammed by the algorithm. So now one of my more popular videos is a shit video whose best joke is the funny green man saying, <laughs> no. Somebody kill me. Anybody. So instead of sitting on 12 scripts and narrating them when I'm finally out of this rut known as a life rife with strife, I decided a few bite-sized, less overly edited videos might be a good way to scrape the rust off of my premiere. Because today, I'm gonna teach you how to master the art of slinging hot lead before you ever step foot into Hell's Kitchen in three easy steps. The first level of Day 6, Liberty Island, is split up into two parts, the island itself and Yunatco. There's a possible... 8,665 skill points to be earned, which is more than enough to get your pistol skill to master. Here's a breakdown of what you're gonna need to do on screen. Step 1. Untrained pistols. Step 2. Liberate Lady Liberty. Now you just gotta play the level and do everything. And I mean everything, you're gonna need every drop of XP the game rewards you with, so I'll just show you the most painless route I usually take, and a few tricks to make things even easier. Don't shoot! So go ahead and grab everything that's not nailed down and stuff that is, even snack foods. You never know when you're gonna need to bribe some children with malt liquor. Anyway, we're going- God damn it, Paul, just give me the get-go. We're going to be running straight over to the dock. I recommend grabbing a baton to smash crates because you'll need these grenades. I'm going to show you something really cool you can do with them after this guide. Also, we'll flare things up for the NSF. Wait. Flares illuminated me on a glaring bit of the NSF's AI. They're fucking stupid. Sure, they can hear a pack of camel crush at the ground to block over. But it's not like they'll see it through their fogged up paintball gear. Wait. Quiet. I saw somebody. Maybe just a homeless guy. Or me, the most inconspicuous man alive. Once you're at the dock, dive into the water, swim over to this boat and pick this lock. You'll get a shotgun and more importantly, more XP. If you don't have enough lock picks, let me show you another exploit. Start lock picking and then open your inventory. Give it about 10 seconds and boom, doors unlock for the price of a pick. Again, don't do this for your first playthrough. Don't ruin day of sex for yourself, because it's a good game. About Talk to this liberated local and then it's off to the bunker. You're gonna have one guy patrolling around here, but he's easy enough to get around. Is someone there? Hop up on the crane, touch the back of the wall to get your XP, but before we leave, let's give our new friend an electrifying end. <laughs> I, I do the, uh... Crypt Keeper cat cackle, but uh, I think it hurt your ears. Next, we gotta get Gunther. Usually I go through this set of doors, but I found it a lot easier to go up and over. Come down the steps, then leap over the railing before the camera sees you. This security Crawl around in the vents until you get to here. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is to sneak around all these guys and get to this computer that opens Gunther's cell. Good news is that if you're using a computer, literally no one can see you. Just pop in here, give Gunther your gun -ther. You could also turn the turret on and kill him all that way, but Gunther wouldn't get to use our piece. That would be adequate. Oh, and if you upgraded it, then I'm so sorry because you're never getting it back. Oh, speaking of upgrades. Alright, then you just gotta get to the top of Lady Liberty, talk to their leader. Where are you taking it? The government the ship. Head to Unatco. Hit the trailer, open the hatch, Keep head to Manderley's office, level two. Then you're gonna just wanna sweep up the last bits of EXP, which you'll get by visiting Jamie. They actually let you point a gun at people. 
Carter. Just give me ammo. And then your office. You think that's funny? Step three. JC. Don't give it to you. Do not try that again. Congrats, you can hold a gun and not much else. Aside from the lockpicking exploit, there's one last thing you can do. That is a lot of fun. Grenade climbing. You know how you can climb mines in Half-Life? Well, you can do the same in Deus Ex, but it requires less resources. With just two of any grenade type, you can scale walls. All you gotta do is angle it below your feet, then place. Pick them up as you go even higher, and break the game even further. I don't know how to end this, so... You can have this soy food.